Hi friends, in today's session, we are going to discuss about the best and simple methods of plotting a drawing in the AutoCAD file. Let me begin. Open AutoCAD file. Set the units by typing UN enter. Set this dimension as decimal and precision as per your requirements and set the unit as meter and set ok and then set the limits l i m i t s enter uh, this dimension is already fixed as 0 comma 0 and set enter and next type the limit as per your requirement i am typing 500 comma 500 enter now oh, type U C S icon I Z O N enter and N enter and then type R E enter for regenerating model. Okay, I have already a seat, so I am going to open that from my desktop. First, we are going to discuss about the first method which is absolute coordinate system and if you have a drawing with its coordinates for all the points in the sense you can choose this method in this you can see here there is a retaining wall in which the coordinates of all the points are mentioned here so let me begin just type l enter and you can now you can type all the coordinators one by one I am just begin with 0 comma 0, 0 comma 0 enter and then 1 comma 0 enter and then 1 comma minus 0.45 enter 1.45 comma minus 0.45 enter and 1.45 comma 0 enter three comma zero enter three comma point four four enter one point four five comma point four four enter 1.45 comma 4.2 enter 1.25 comma 4.2 enter then 1.1 comma 0.45 enter you can see the drawing is automatically formed without touching the cursor by this method you can Create the whole drawing without using the cursor, just to only with keyboard. The next point is 0, 0,45 enter. Finally, you may type C enter for closing the drawing. So now you can see the drawing is created without touching the cursor. All the dimensions are perfectly matched with this pre created drawing. This is the second method relative rectangular coordinate system in which you can see here in this drawings at symbol is introduced before all the point coordinates. This is introduced for the purpose of denoting the relative position from the previous points. Okay, just imagine this as 0, 0 as a and this is point b and c and d point b denoted as at minus 1 comma 0 that means this point is 1 meter in the negative x direction and 0 meter in the y direction from the previous point a
in the same way the point C at 0 comma minus 0 0.45 is 0 meter in the x direction and 0 0.45 di meters in the negative y direction from the previous point this point B in the same way all the points are denoted with that symbol and the coordinates okay now we draw the draw this retaining wall with the relative rectangular coordinate system for which you have to just type L enter for line command and start with 0 comma 0 to enter and the second point at minus 1 comma 0 enter third point at 0 comma minus 0.45 enter and fourth point at 1 comma 0 enter next point at 0 comma minus 0.45 enter and the next point at 0.45 comma 0 enter at 0 comma 0.45 enter at 1.55 comma 0 enter you can see that the drawing is simultaneously created when the point is entered next point at 0 comma 0.45 enter at minus 1.55 comma 0 enter at 0 comma 3.75 enter and the last point at minus 0.2 comma 0 enter to close with the beginning point type C enter so that this drawing is ready now this is the relative rectangular coordinate system let me see the another one method this is the third method a relative polar coordinate system in which you can see here all the points are denoted with at symbol and a less than symbol at symbol denotes all the position all the points positions are noted from the previous positions or it's are the relative position from the previous points see here this one denotes the distance and 180 denotes the angle okay let me imagine this 0 comma 0 as point a and this is point b and this is point z and this is point d see this point b at and 1 less than 180 this one denotes 1 meter from the previous point and this 180 denotes 180 degree angle from the previous point that means this point is 1 meter away from the previous point in the direction of or in the angle of 180 degree in the same way all the points are noted in this in this drawing let me begin for which you have to type L for line command L enter and type 0 comma 0 for the first point enter second point at 1 less than 180 third point at 0.45 less than 270 enter fourth point at 1 less than 0 degree next point at 0.45 that means 0.5 meter distance from the previous point and less than 270 degree that means 270 degree from the previous points position enter next at 0.45 meter from the previous point less than 0 degree directly in the x axis enter next point at 0.45 meter distance from the previous point in the direction of 90 degree next point at 1.55 less than 0 degree at 0.45 meter from the previous point at an angle of 
90 degree next point at 1.55 meter from the previous point in the angle of 180 degree at 3.75 meter from the previous point in the 90 degree direction and the last point at 0.2 meter from the previous point in the angle of 180 degree for closing type C enter so this drawing is ready now with the relative polar coordinate system ok let me see the next system the fourth method is distance system in which all the distances from one point to another are noted in the drawings so that we are going to use the keyboard for typing the distances and the cursor for the directions in this method just we are going to just start with this point L enter here and this cursor is used for the direction so I am going to draw a line in this direction for a distance of 1 meter. So 1 enter the line is found and I am going to continue through this line. Uh, the next point is 0 0.45 meter distance in that cursor direction. So 0 0.45 enter and then cursor, move the cursor to the another direction for the next line. It is 1 meter length, so 1 enter, next 0 0.45 enter, 0 0.45 enter, 0 0.45 enter, and this length is 1.55 meter, enter, 0 0.45 enter, 1.55 enter, 3.75 enter, 0 0.2 enter, and just click the first find for closing this drawing escape so this is the method distance system we may also draw this diagram with the with only by using the cursor let me let me see that you can earn the dynamic input from here can you see here this is the dynamic input button click that so that you can have the dimensions in directly in the screen and L enter you can see that the distance and the angle of the cursor position from the previous point is directly noted near the cursor so you can see that 180 degree is noted and distance is 1 meter by using this method also you can draw this If you like this video, you may share and subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.